you know, I look at my mom and dad, and my, my dad was a professional, he was a lawyer, came from a family of lawyers, so um, he was the county counsel, everybody knew him in Orange County, and he was great, and I saw how he worked, and his work ethic, and he would wake up early and come home late, and then there was my mom, and my mom was a, she was a school teacher, it was always on. It was always on with my mom. So teaching was, um, and, and teaching us, um, you know, how to be students, how to, how to learn uh, was uh, an important aspect and I think certainly um, had a big impact on who I am today. I always thought I was going to be a veterinarian and uh, uh, growing up had a love for animals but uh, uh, I also liked the life sciences as I started in school. So uh, when I hit high school, uh, I still thought I was going to be a veterinarian, but uh, I had a chemistry teacher walk up to me one day, put his arm around me and he said, Troy, I think you should think about medicine, human medicine. And I said, hmm. And it just kind of a little light bulb went off and I said, well, maybe, maybe, maybe he's right. My senior year at USC, I met a guy by the name of Tom Vangsness and he really became my first mentor. And he's a sports medicine uh, uh, orthopedic surgeon at USC. And in fact, I think my first publication ever was with, was with uh, uh, Dr. Vangsness. I went to Northwestern um, one year for a month, you spend a month there. The chief resident today is a good friend of mine, but he was a, going into foot and ankle, so he was passionate about it. And the doctor uh, was a guy by the name of Dr. Kalikian, who is, is still in Chicago and practicing. And those two guys showed me a whole world in foot and ankle that I never knew existed. I wanted to be in a city where I could practice my specialty and I could do it full time and eventually develop into the go-to guy in my town. My good buddy Paul Shurness and I um, really launched the whole foot and ankle uh, line for Arthrex and I feel like a team player because we, we do innovate, we do help them develop products and the reason why we help them develop products it's to make our job as orthopedic foot and ankle surgeons easier in the operating room. In this case, he helped design and develop the surgical suites at Henderson Hospital. Um, they now have the most sophisticated video equipment in the world. Um, they have put together a true academic program. The equipment here at this hospital that he's designed is light years ahead of, say, Stanford University. He's able to do teaching and training here, and he's really brought a level of academia to the Las Vegas area that we just haven't had before. Teaching's always been really important to me and I, I, I love to teach. My mom was a teacher. I, I personally fund my own fellowship. It's all funded from within um, the house. We get a, a little grant here or there but it's really I'd say 90 percent personally funded. And the fellow comes in and it's, it's a great year of learning for him but they also teach me things. We're setting the bar here with physicians like Troy because Troy demands the best. Uh, for his patients, not only staffing, but equipment and technology and that out-of-the-box thinking and that's what we want to do and that's what we've accomplished uh, with doctors like Troy and other surgeons and other physicians on staff. We started a, um, um, a philanthropy for um, the indigent uh, is really how it started but it's, it's, it's kind of expanded a little bit beyond that. We've been doing it for over 10 years, uh, giving shoes to the homeless and foot screenings by Dr. Watson and his staff and our friends. Um, we started about 200 shoes uh, given to the homeless at the Salvation Army, and now uh, this will be our 11th year. Not only shoes, but we also provided socks, which the kids helped uh, raise at their school and a uh, hot meal. When after they, they see Dr. Troy and they're able to get those shoes, they're walking out there just, just on cloud nine. I mean, they're walking out because it's like Christmas to them. It's an opportunity for them to be able to receive a gift and be able to have that personalized attention that Dr. Troy provides. It's, it's an amazing event. Um, those that have been part of it really, uh, I, think, I think, cherish that day of this is really what it's all about, right? Giving. So, pretty cool event. But my real passion, and I'd say if I wasn't, if I wasn't practicing medicine, what would I do? I'd be, I'd be a photographer, and that's what I love. I, one of my favorite places to go is Yellowstone. I love being in Yellowstone. Uh, the landscape shots in Yellowstone are amazing, and then of course you get 
occasionally the wildlife, but nowhere near as good as Africa. Hi Dad, it's Skylar and I wanted to congratulate you on this award. I see how hard you work every day and you really inspire me to work as hard as I can to be the best person I can be. I'm really proud of everything that you've done and um, uh, I, yeah, I see how hard you work every day here and uh, I just am really proud of you. Hey Dad, I'm really proud of you and all of you have accomplished. You've been nothing but my idol since I was little and all my music has always been for you and my love has only grown because of you and I love you so much. Thank you Dad. Hi honey, I'm so happy I met you over 25 years ago at the University of Southern California. I've enjoyed our time together and feel so lucky that I met someone so passionate as you who's such a great dad and uh, always so much fun to be around and responsible and loving and uh, I just love you so much and I'm so proud of you to get this award today.